All right, hello guys, this is your Uncle Big Fish. And on this video, we'll be talking about the legatus, or legatus, or legatus, or legatus, whatever you want to call it. This is going to be uh, the Sage Awakening class. Now, this class just got a buff. Uh, I would say it's a lot closer to a short rework because they do change some of the framework of the skill Lightning Crash and also Lightning Sentinel. So now let us just watch uh, the changes on the patch notes and we'll dive into what is what because I've actually played quite a fair bit of this uh, just now. Now let's go to patch notes. Let's see. Okay, all right, now let's go down to here. Okay, now, uh, Legatus mainly fights by throwing spears at long range and maintaining that distance from the enemy. Hard to do that when melee is literally just go from one end to the other, cross cross map um, with like in an instant. With this update, we've increased the attack range of his spear throws to allow him to kite the enemy with more ease and range and added Arcanon's flash attacks which he regains on every throw and used to empower his core skills. After reaching 5 stacks, they can be summoned to increase the damage of his next skill or to empower or summon additional Arcanons to assist him in battle. Lightning Crash Increase the max range of spears thrown. Gain 1 Arcanons flash stack every time a spear is thrown. Using one of the following skills of 5 Arcanons flash attacks will empower it. Empower a uh, spear bolt uh, to increase, uh, it, it would actually increase the attack range and max hits plus one. And Empowered Lightning Sentinel, which doubles basically its full base power. And also the Empowered Sentinel Beam summons additional Arcanons, maxed hits plus two. Now, if you see this one, the Sentinel Beam, you get two extra hits if you have the Empower stack. Now, how do you do the Sempower stack? It's literally just you using this lightning crash a couple times. Now, if you see here, it can allow you to attack while moving, but this isn't very good because it doesn't move very far. Now, how do you calculate how much lightning crash can do? Now, for every lightning crash charges, you have two hits. This will give you a total of two uh, stacks for each charge. But the way Lightning Crash works is, if you read here, all right, gain one stack of Arcanon's Flash each throw. Now, this skill, Lightning Crash, is actually very, very funny. Because, if I recall correctly, on this one, uh, this will actually uh, reduce the cooldown of Lightning Crash minus five seconds upon using Lightning Crash or Spiel Bolt for four seconds. So, uh, when you consume MP, you actually gain a charge of this Lightning Crash, pretty much. Lightning Crash have a cooldown of 6 seconds, and when you have 80 mana, you will regain some of that. Uh, you will gain a minus 5 cooldown on the Lightning Crash. So if you see here, I have actually full rings, if you see there, next to the 5 beats, purple beats there. When I have this at 5, my next skill will be an empowered skill. Now, the, the skills that it empowers will be this one, will be this one, and this one. Alright? Now, so three skills are pretty much empowered. There is pretty much it. Um, now, how much damage does this actually give? Now, when do you when you see here, uh, this spear bolt does have a base power. If I recall correctly, around one thousand two hundred per hit. This thing hits twice, so it has a total of twenty four hundred percent. Now, when you have the empower, this increases the max hit by one, making a three hit skill or a three thousand six hundred percent damage skill nuke. Now, this will be very strong. I think that this is a very strong mechanic, especially this Empower thing. However, there is a couple issues that I want to address in this one. And that's the fact that this class um, doesn't really have 
the best linkage into Lightning Crash. Now, Lightning Crash does have good linkage into itself. However, the skill takes way too long to cast, especially in the arenas. And this skill have nothing, like no fucking damage whatsoever. You see, thing? this thing does like 700 percent damage per hit it hits twice 1400 percent damage it's very very low guys very very low damage so it has very low damage and it hits it takes a while to hit this guys like in that instance i can actually cast like i don't know full skill some other skill yeah with a, with, with a different class i can cast like two skills already so while i'm doing this it's true that i'm dealing damage but at the same time this thing takes way too long and in the same instance, I can cast like two, like, like two skills with, with a different class, which will result to a more more damage. And because of that, even if this thing gets like a full stack, like this thing gets a full stack, and you hit a very powerful spear bolt, this thing, the the damage increase isn't really that prominent because the class does does not have the best damage guys um the damage actually is actually quite low uh your combo damage is very low uh it doesn't really have the best form of hmm how to put it nicely uh this class is like okay so you can cast this thing from a pretty far away range however it is a knockdown and because it's a knockdown you don't have enough punish for that so say you cast this thing and someone gets knocked down what are you gonna do like there's nothing else, there's no follow-up. And because there's no follow-up, it becomes kind of redundant. And so you need to, pretty much, your source of damage is you need to land a combo with your Thunderclap. And this is pretty much just a means of mobility, I would say. So it's it's actually quite sad to see that this class is, uh, the buff is very minuscule, honestly. Do I think that the buff is sig sig significant? I think that the buff is quite sig significant, but it's not good enough to actually compete against the other buff skills like say the titan basically became from fucking broken to god like that that is the kind of buffs that titan got and for berserker he went from literally from like a very powerful class into a near unbeatable class that can be played with like zero brain cells and just beat pros like yeah because it's so hard to press one reckoning like berserker is fucking broken titan is fucking broken like these classes will destroy you because they have a check into something that you specialize in you are a kiter like but these classes at least in the current meta like legatus like these super meta classes they have very good gap close and so you can't actually kite and even if you can kite your damage is so minuscule because your damage is very low and they are so tanky so in this in this instance it's like it's kind of like okay so i want to play a kiter but while i'm kiting i deal very low damage and i can't maintain my my my, my kite because they get close to me very very easily so it's making this very difficult to play. I think that Legatus is right now is very, very difficult to play. And I think the niche uses for this class would be in the fact that this class might be one of the strongest will classes if played properly. However, I think that this class still needs a couple more buffs to actually be viable for competitive play. Now, for arenas, I would say that this class is very, very hard to use, especially in the current meta. This class have very, very horrible matchup into Berserker. How, how bad is it? It's so bad that I would say even against a retard, I would probably still have a very high chance to lose. And I am not just some fucking average player. Now imagine if if your your BKC champion Uncle Fucking Big Fish gets clapped by a retard simply because the class is just so good because Berserker's fucking broken. So yeah, like and the current meta classes, the most the most used classes currently is Berserker. So the way we look at this is when you have a class that is so bad against the current meta, then it's, a, it's simply a class that is really bad. It's not exactly because the class is bad, but because it's so horrible into the current meta where everyone is going to be using that one class that you're so bad against. Now, this is pretty much what uh, or what I think about this Legatus. 
but if you want some uh, really really cool combos I can actually I've, I've crafted around two combos I would say I wouldn't say craft but uh, I, I crafted one for sure but uh, the other one is probably the, like the most standard set I think I've uh, talked about this in the last Legatus video uh, we'll talk about this now so the first combo will be pretty simple you're gonna be using Thunderclap just once okay Thunderclap once and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your Lightning Sentinel which is this one this will give you a daze now you want to keep this up for about one second before you press this which will be your oh, crap I forgot the name it's called the Sentinel Beam now after this you're going to cast your your uh, lightning crash yeah you're gonna cast your lightning crash uh, around four hits and then you're gonna use your spear bolt and once that happens you are going to get the fuck out all right that is the most standard set probably the most standard set okay okay and get the fuck out that's pretty much the most simplest combo yeah i would say very very simple combo uh if you want uh, another combo that is gonna be your spear bolt opening combo if you have a spear bolt and you clip someone with your spear bolt you can just use your imprison because this thing actually chains and it deals pretty pretty good damage uh so you can say like i clip i clip this guy with spear bolt then i'm gonna use imprison right away because this thing chains into imprison and imprison is your highest stab skill so you're gonna go like this Okay, and then once you get up, you can use Spear Bolt again, that's fine. Or you can use some other skills. Uh, you can use Lightning Crash twice into another Spear Bolt, that's fine also. So you can go something like this. Okay, and then you can just use your Spear Bolt at the very end after that. I'll show you one more time, just so you guys can see what I mean. Okay, say like you clip someone with Spear Bolt, BAM! He got knocked down. Use your imprison, then use your lightning crush once, and then spear bolt. That's pretty much what you want to do. They will have the most consistent damage, I would say. Uh, one last thing I want to talk about is when you are using this class, make sure to always have lightning sentinel. Uh, pretty much off cooldown. Just press it if you have in a if you're in a really good po spot. Just 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 use it. Like there is not there is no reason why you shouldn't. This is passive damage and I think it's quite nice because if they get if they're still in the proximity without protection uh, the okay that's, that's kind of dirty but uh, yeah uh, after if they are caught by the last hit of lightning sentinel they will actually get bounded so it's actually quite nice it can pretty much save you sometimes if you get comboed and your lightning and sentinel up it's very very nice. I think that's gonna be about it for Legatus. There's not really a lot of changes, I would say. Uh, majority of the changes are pretty much the same. The class is pretty much still kind of the same. There's not really any difference whatsoever. I would say like the worst thing about it is this, this class is very prone to desync because uh, the skills don't have the best lingers. Like Spearbolt, you see, uh, Spearbolt, uh, it's this one. Spearbolt has like a very weird anim animation like if you're in a if you're in a real trading fight if you're trading with spearball like the frames of your phone or your or your device will be so like full that sometimes this thing's linger will be shortened by about 0.2 seconds i realized this pretty pretty well pretty uh, quickly actually when i was trying this out in my emulator when i was trying it out um it's actually quite frustrating because it gets desynced very easily because of that. Next, the wind up of this skill doesn't actually have super armor. Like if you see here, it shows that it has super armor, right? Pretty instant. But in reality, it actually doesn't. And the wind up has like a 0.2 seconds where it doesn't have super armor. So make sure you don't cast it on a like a super multi hit skill with a lot of CC frames because you will get caught. Nextly, I want to talk about is the directed version of this spear bolt. It has a lot more. The directed version has more super armor than the non-directed version. So you can go like this, okay? The directed version has more super armor than the neutral. If you put neutral, it's gonna be just like I cannot uh, use the directed because I'm I cannot lock this target. Yeah, I'll try to change the target lock to all. I'll try to lock this guy. Okay. Now, if I cast this, you see that? He will actually, uh, if you cast the skill, basically the second hit, if you just press the spear bolt twice, 
the second hit will move a little bit and you can actually you can actually uh move a little bit before you shoot and that movement have super armor as well so it, it can actually save you um quite a fair bit if you're against a class that say um cannot maintain the super armor for too long you can go like this you see that yeah the the mobility has super armor too so it's actually quite it's quite nice yeah it's quite nice uh, aside from that, I think that's about it. There's not really anything else I want to talk about. Uh, the class is pretty much still, still the same. Uh, if I could probably say a couple ideas that could be pretty good for this class is... I would say the Lightning Crash. This stack of Arcanon's Flash. I really think you sh they should lower this to 3 charges instead of... Uh, I mean 3 stacks. Because 5 is simply too much. It's too much. And honestly, I don't think like 3 would break the game. Because although people might be scared that, oh, okay, you, they are scared that Lightning Crash would... Like, Lightning Crash would actually um, empower the Spear Bolt. And this will be like a super, super good, like 3600% base power skill. That's what people are scared of. But the thing is, guys, um, this thing... The, the skill that they are afraid of being boosted have very long cooldown. It's got 9 second cooldown, guys. So, it's not necessarily like something game-breaking if, even if they can get it. This thing does get lowered by 2 seconds, making this a 7 second cooldown skill. And I think 3600% damage on a class that's pretty damn slow. I mean, honestly, this, this class is pretty damn slow, guys. It's not fast at all. Because, like, put it, put, it, put it this way. Uh, the only way that this class can move is through Thunderclap and uh, the Thunderbird. That's the only two mobility skills. The evasion is pretty short distance, very, 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 very slow. And I think that even with a much higher damage, I don't think this class would be that strong because it's very weak. It's very soft. So it gets, it gets like downstairs. Like honestly, playing this class makes me feel like I'm playing Destroyer somehow. Probably like this thing, this thing is definitely better than Destroyer for sure, but it gives me the same vibes. Like when I'm playing Destroyer, when I'm playing this, it's pretty similar guys, it's very very similar. It makes me feel very hopeless sometimes. Versus some classes, it feels good, but versus like the meta classes for sure, it feels so hard. Like you just don't know if you can win or not. And honestly speaking, I've played against Titan. I'm dealing like no damage. I was like comboing this guy like four times, he still won't die. Like, imagine that comboing a Titan four times, guys. Full combo, okay? Full combo with Thunderbird. Eh, uh, with uh, Thunderclap. So, days into full combo. Days into full combo. Days into full combo. With a couple more tradings from the Spear World. Imagine four times you combo Titan. He's still not dead. It's fucking hilarious, man. Holy shit. That is hilarious as fuck. Um, so, this class doesn't have damage. It does have pretty good coverage. It, it does... Thunderclap does carry Fogar Break. And Anti-Grab. Thunderbird as well. However, Spear Bolt is pretty much like your main step skill and you're going to use this most often. So, Spear Bolt doesn't have anti-grab. So, the skill that matters does not have anti-grab. Because of that, people just wait for your Spear Bolt and they just grab you. So, it, it becomes very predetermined, I would say. So, it's quite sad. I would say like, just increase his damage or give him like Spell Amp. Honestly, this guy's pretty damn sad, guys. It is like, no fucking Spell Amp. Probably give him like... 50% spell amp, that'll be pretty good. Or like 20, honestly. Honestly, 20 will not break the game, guys. Trust, trust. Even if they give this thing like 20% spell amp, it's not gonna break the game. Trust me, it, it will not break the game. We have so many more classes that are super more fucking broken than, than this will ever get. Um, regarding my opinions on if you guys should CC to this class is... If you're high CP, if like you're at least general, you wanna use this class, it's pretty, it's pretty okay. I would say it's pretty okay. But if you're using like Duke and below, I really don't think you should. This class doesn't have the right damage for it. Even with Duke CP, I don't think you'll be able to kill very, very fast. I don't, I don't think you'll be able to kill even a Viscount quickly with this class, unfortunately. Very, very sad. Uh, aside from that, if you're looking for imprint sets, you can go for either... Wait, let me check. Okay, let me check. Um... So this one, uh, let's talk about the passive first before we end the video. Uh, Eye of Ator. Through Eye of Ator, gains the insight and observation to analyze enemies and spot weaknesses. Now, analyze. Recover all MP when struck. Cooldown 10 seconds. Recover 20 MP on hit, not applied during penetrate. So you have 20% MP recovery on hit. Okay. 
I'm actually not quite sure if this is actually when you hit or when you're hitting someone. Because when struck, so may maybe like when you're hit. Recover 20 MP on hit. So this class is a it's like it's kinda of designed to take to take damage. Because you get you gain MP back while you're like being hit. So it's a class that's very soft, but it benefits from being hit. It's kinda of like weird. Cause Majority of the time, if you if if a kiter a soft ass class gets hit, it's dead. <laughs> so it cannot really make use of the. You cannot really make use of this passive. Next will be penetrate. Consume all MP upon using lightning crash as pure bolt, with 80 MP or more on the following effects. Deactivate all debuffs. This is really really strong. Damage against monster plus 15% for 10 seconds is pretty good. Lightning crash cooldown minus 5 seconds upon using lightning crash or spear bolt. Now this is. Potentially why what I'm saying is very very strong because during this you have pretty much like almost permanent lightning crash Which is very very strong. Yeah uh, Aside from that uh, what I want to say is I think that this class needs at least 10% damage re Reduction at least 10% it's too melee oriented to not have it like I get it like like it, this is a range as class but if you realize, like, majority of the skills are, are actually not exactly ranged, guys. Like, the only range type skill that this class actually have, the ranged one, is actually only, like, two. Only Spear Bolt and Lightning Crash. Everything else is pretty much melee range. Like, Divine Punishment is fucking melee as fuck. You can see that. It's fucking melee. Imprison is fucking melee because this thing is technically a range, but you're doing nothing while you're casting it. So, you, it's, it's pretty much, like, people just get close to you and beat you up. Uh, very funny stuff. Next would be the uh, thunderclap. Yeah, this thing is melee as fuck. Uh, Lightning sentinel, you also like also is melee range. Uh, there's like sentinel beam. This thing's also pretty much melee range. So you are you're not exactly a range type class, guys. It's not exactly a range because I mean I mean like two of your skills are ranged, but the rest are pretty much melee. Yeah. So like you do need some bulk. You can't, you can't go, you, you're not like Fletcher or like Buccaneer where all of your skills are fucking ranged. You can't. This is pretty much like a hybrid class. This class is very, very similar, guys. Very similar to Phantasma, I tell you. Very, very similar. Phantom Dash is pretty much like Thunderbird. The uh, Thunderclap is pretty much the Twin Slash. And then like the, this uh, Spearbolt is pretty much like a, a different version of Umbro, Umbropulus. So it's like pretty much a Phantasma, guys. It's a, it's a Phantasma that's softer. With pretty much similar damage, I would say, but it's just worse. I would say it's just kind of worse because Phantasma got very, very good for guard break. It's got everything else is just better. I, I would say this class is probably slightly below Phantasma in my honest opinion, um, but I would say like it's pretty damn similar. Yeah, pretty damn similar. That's about it for me. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, well, whatever, just uh, put a like on the video or something. Uh, for now, I have an arena clip that I want to show you. Uh, I already re recorded that just now. It's only it, it only took me like one one take because I was like I told my uh, Discord members that I want to record and then they just went in. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys again very very soon. Bye.